tell you what, I'm going to start turning this platform into a news debunker because the one we have now, whoa, that's all I have to say. I'm like, what is, I can't follow it. Maybe I'm hooked on phonics. I know I am in English, but when it comes to this story, I like it's going one way, then the other, then another. It's like, you know what? I actually pulled out the old arrest article on this one and I was blown away blown away now you see the title it says warlocks MC right well there are different types of warlocks out there and of course they didn't put which one in there they just said warlock so everybody's gonna think this one or that one I don't know I don't know. Then it has other kinds of stories where either the guy was a pagan or he wasn't a pagan. That's what I'm talking about with this story. Later on with China Dow, I'll be talking about my trip down to Florida. That's a good one. Anyway, let is let's get into this craziness, man. I am just so confused. So confused. This out of Eagle Country Online, and I know that they're getting their news from AP and the local Indianapolis paper, so I can't blame them. Can't blame them. Michael Carno faces 90 to 130 years in prison, basically the rest of his life. Now, this came out of Jefferson County, Indiana, North Vernon man is facing between 90 and 130 years in prison after being found guilty of murder and related charges in a 2021 gang shootout that resulted in the death of a gang member and Jefferson County Prosecutor David Sutter. That's what they said. Now, I'm going to go to the old one here. Here it says, five biker gang members arrested for murder after deadly shootout in Southern Indiana. Now, I'm having a hard time here. Remember, I'm hooked out of phonics here today. Top right, that looks like a girl. Now, I know it's hard to tell these days if you know what I mean, but it looks like a woman. Now, last time I checked, a lot of these, you couldn't have a woman as a patch holder. But that's what they were saying. Not me, but them. And that was out of the Wayne.com. And, and he was identified as Dustin Linder. Now, this is where I get confused. This is what I get confused about. Now, according to this story... He was also convicted of attempted burglary committed while armed with a deadly weapon. I guess there was some kind of shootout. Attempted robbery committed while armed and deadly and obstruction of justice. He was also found uh, to have been a member of a criminal organization while committing the offenses. Yes, they're throwing that charge up a lot lately with everybody. A member of a criminal organization. Then the prosecutor and the cops take, you know, their victory laps. And let's see here. The case, here it is, began June 22nd of 2021 when Dustin Kuttner Lindar, 35 of Georgetown, Kentucky, was fatally wounded after 4 a.m. on John Deere Road. Oh, John Deere. They make good tractors, don't they? In DuPont Linder, a member of the Pagans, now he, they say he's a member of the Pagans, was with the other ones, members of the Warlocks. See, they didn't put in who they were. Now, according to them, the gang members were at John Deere Road with handguns, knives, handcuffs, to confront a man who they believed was displaying patches and tattoos of those clubs. Now they said clubs, not club. So they're saying that in the beginning he was a member of the pagans. 
But now they're saying that they were confronting him because he had colors from both or tattoos from both. See where I'm confused here? It, 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 it's thick. And they claim evidence was presented at a trial that he was the president of the Warlock chapter known as the Heavy Hitters. Now, Tarnuth had previously, and here it is, seen the man with the phony tattoos and patches at, ga at a gas station in North Vernon. He traveled to Philadelphia to obtain information about the man before planning the attack. The gang members met at his house prior to traveling to DuPont and made multiple trips to John Deere Road before the shooting. See where I'm confused here? He either was, he wasn't, or maybe he was a member of them, then went over to the Pagans. I don't know, but from that article, you get confused. And like I said, you can't tell which Warlock faction it was. Because they have no information on this. Now, he's going to be sentenced on March 15th at 2 o'clock. But like I said here, here was the original one. And this was in 2021. And here are the five so-called gang members that they pointed out here. And here's so let's go to the picture. See, there's a picture of one. That's Jordan Lowe. Okay, Jordan Lowe. I don't know. You tell me if you know what I mean. It's got me confused, though. Holly, uh, you know, big time. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, are you confused? Because God knows I am. And that's one of the things that is so bad about the news media is if you go to their original reporting on this and then go to the present time, everything is messed up. Everything. That's why I said at the beginning of the show, I might as well run one of them Pinocchio deals. What is it that the uh, Washington Post or Wall Street Journal does? Something like that. You get four Pinocchios for that story, man. Because you just put us all out there like, duh. You got to do the research on that, man. There's many warlock type of clubs. And is this guy a former of that and went to the pagans? You don't say so. You just confuse the hell out of everybody, which I think that was your main purpose is to confuse all the civilians out there. What am I saying? You confuse me. And that's hard to do when it comes to these kind of news stories. It's unfortunate that there was a shootout. It's unfortunate that somebody lost their lives. And it's unfortunate that these incidences do keep happening in the public and ended up in the newspaper. And I like what Danny Deedlow had to say on his video regarding this kind of stuff. He addressed the term motorcycle gang, where people, if you don't want to be called one, don't do it. But that, you know what, you can talk as much as you want to your blue in the face. Maybe it'll change for a little bit, we'll see. But do I have any faith it's going to change? No. Even though there's so much technology out there, they, the clubs don't want to change, you know, they want to face, you know, face off, uh, you know, uh, with territory and stuff, you know, who's making any money out there anymore to be fighting over territory. So I thought it was a real good video that he did. You got to check it out. It was about lefty one percenter from the pagans that got killed. And a lot of people, I know a lot of the creators were kind of screwed up by that one. Because the kid heard the gunshots from the house. And it used to be you never go to a house. But everything seems like it's changed now, which is really unfortunate. It really is. It's really unfortunate that kind of stuff is uh, happening. 
And I know I've talked to some of my fellow creators, as we say, and we've all said the same thing. We can try to make clubs look good, try to really look into the story and see if we define any openings to make media look bad. Let's just put it that way. But we've been finding <laughs> a lot over the year, last year or two. We get eggs on our faces. We've talked about that. We get egg on our faces because it just continues. And I know it's not because it is a local thing where we're covering nationally, internationally type of stuff. But it does, it does put egg on our face. And that's why I really like my other channel, man. Nothing but motorcycle talk. You know, you know, I'm peeing off a lot of people over there about my thinking on Harley Davidson, especially since they hired that Green Day guy who denounced his uh, citizenship. But Harley uh, hired him anyway to perform at their 120th. So go over to Insane Wheels with a Z and go check out my new channel over there. But what do you guys think? Were you confused as I was in this one? So much information let out, and you don't know if it was on, well, yeah, I do. It's on purpose, because you were out there to confuse everybody, just to put it out there. And the prosecutor's up there right with you doing it. Anyway, we're going to go to the second half of the show. We're going to talk about all the fun I've had, and all this tan that I got. Ooh, it was fun down there. Rock on, we'll be right back. Goodbye, vamoose, adios, ciao, so long, get your hat jacked. Number one internet biker radio show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms, including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. 